In this tutorial, we'll explore content editing in ReadyMag. Whether you want to modify an existing project without sacrificing its design, or if you're new to ReadyMag, we'll guide you to make impactful changes while preserving the design integrity. If this is your first time using ReadyMag, we recommend taking a quick five-minute onboarding tour to familiarize yourself with the platform and its features. To start the tour, simply click Product Tour. This guided tour is designed to provide you with a rapid overview of all the tools and functionalities ReadyMag offers, allowing you to get up to speed in no time. It's the perfect way to acquaint yourself with the platform and its capabilities. Now let's explore a useful feature, especially for beginners, duplicate. Want to experiment without worry? Hover over your project card, choose duplicate from the menu, and voila! A copy is born in the same folder. Test out new ideas, designs, or iterations worry-free. Best part, you can create unlimited unpublished projects regardless of your plan. So go ahead and unleash your creativity. Let's talk about Layout Locked Mode, a handy tool for fine-tuning your project's details while preserving its structure. To switch from the basic Layout Locked Mode and vice versa, click on this icon in the bottom panel of your project. In this mode, you can edit content, pick colors, apply text styles, and adjust settings without changing the layout. While you can't move things around, add new pages or new widgets, this mode is your go-to for perfecting your project's look without any design worries. You'll find this mode useful in two scenarios. You can send a layout-locked project to someone or receive one from a designer for further work, ensuring your design's integrity is preserved. Imagine you want to replace an image in your project in the layout-locked mode. To replace an image, you've got two easy options. First, select the picture icon within the picture widget control. Then choose Replace. Alternatively, just drag and drop a new image right over the old one. Changing an image won't affect its dimensions. And if you want to crop the image, it is a piece of cake. Right after replacing the image, you can easily fine tune the cropping by adjusting the slide. Also, you can move the picture inside the crop frame. Alternatively, you can bring up the crop menu by simply double-clicking on the image or by clicking the crop icon in the menu. Now let's imagine you want to replace a text in the layout locked mode. Just select the text widget and paste in your new content. If the editor's interface is obstructing your view, you can zoom the workplace in or out using the shortcut Control or Command plus or minus. Let's explore a couple more handy features that are available in layout locked mode. For example, you can choose text styles that are already saved within your project, provided the designer has set them up. To access these styles, simply pick the widget containing the text, head to the text editing menu, and find the style that best suits your vibe. Additionally, you've got the power to tweak text color. Give the widget a quick double click, and there you have it. You can choose colors from the designer's curated palette. You can also delete pages with ease. Simply hover over the page and click the cross button. Don't worry, all your deleted pages aren't gone for good. Click on the bin button at the bottom right corner, and there you will find a list of all deleted pages. Hover over the preview of a deleted page, and you can hit delete to remove it permanently, or restore to bring it back. Turn off Layout Locked Mode to access ReadyMag's default editing mode, enabling you to edit all widgets and project settings within your plan's limitations. Next, let's discuss Guides, a valuable tool for smoother work. You can activate them with a shortcut, H, or by accessing the Grid and Layout menu in the bottom right corner. These guides are your secret weapon. Chances are the designer actually structured the composition using them. By enabling guides, you'll have an easier time understanding how the composition works as you make changes. Next, let's activate snapping. Switch it on using the shortcut S or through the same menu. 
When snapping is on, widgets will automatically align with guides and neighboring widgets. This makes it a breeze to fine-tune your project. Imagine you're making significant changes to a text block and your new content starts covering a neighboring widget. Bundle drag is your solution. This feature shifts all widgets equally, creating extra space to prevent overlap. To use it, select the widget and drag from the blue triangle or hold F while dragging. When you're working with more intricate layouts, there is another way to move your composition. First, select all the widgets you want to move. Just hold down Shift and click on the widgets you need. Now, while you're still holding Shift, go ahead and move the whole bunch. Need to adjust the page height? Just drag the blue diamond. And to wrap it up, go ahead and pop a new widget right into that newly opened space. You can achieve this by copying a widget from another page and seamlessly placing it right here. Now let's take a look at how your project appears in preview mode. If everything looks good here, you're ready to publish your project. Just click the Publish button. But remember, it's important to ensure your project shines on mobile devices as well. Let's turn on the mobile layout. Click on Viewer Settings and select Mobile Layout. This feature allows you to view the mobile version of your page as it will appear on a variety of devices. Each page gets its own tailor-made mobile version. Now let's get back to edit mode. As you see, sometimes you might need to tweak widget positions for the mobile version. And that's where the bundle drag feature comes to the rescue. It's very useful. Don't forget to map your domain. It's a way to connect your custom domain to your ReadyMag project, providing a more personalized and professional touch to your online presence. We've got a detailed video on how to do this. You'll find the link in the description. Looking to hand off your project to a designer for some continued work while you take a breather? No problem. The collaboration mode has got your back. Simply send them an invitation and you're good to go. You can invite collaborators directly from the editor interface. Just click the plus button next to your user picture in the right panel. Enter the email of the person you want to invite and click invite. Another incredibly useful tool is the comments feature. It's not just a fantastic way to brainstorm ideas together, but it's also great for leaving suggestions for designers or even setting quick reminders for yourself when you're working solo. While you're in editing mode, simply locate the modes icon in the bottom right dock and select Comments. Once activated, your cursor will transform into a small speech bubble icon. Click anywhere on the page to insert a comment. You can type your message, attach images, or even mention a specific collaborator to notify them directly. To finalize your comment, either press the Enter key or click the Submit icon. You can always find more tutorials and tips at readymag.com learn.